but if, if we're flaring the methane and creating more CO2 and we've got an ever rising quantity of CO2 in the atmosphere with humans put out about 40 mm. billion tons a year, whatever it is, um, are, are we not just baking in a bigger disaster all round? I mean, and well, we are, yes. I mean, uh, that's, that's the whole problem that, that this, everything is getting worse all the time and exponentially worse. Uh, and people who are trying to do something about it or advocate doing something about it <clears throat> are all saying, well, we must reduce methane emissions. And that's the, that's the, the strategy of, of IPCC and of everybody who, or every bureaucrat, every government guy will say, we've got to reduce carbon emissions. And um, the, the uh, IPCC report on 1.5 degrees, um, trying to keep warming below 1.5 degrees, it still talks about reducing emissions to zero by 2050, and which is physically impossible. I mean, it's, it's a, that's a delusion. But um, they say, well, we, we can do a little bit of carbon dioxide removal uh, if we overshoot um, of this. But what that means, re the reality is, is that the only way to get carbon dioxide levels down, which is removing it from the atmosphere by, by scru carbon scrubbing, uh, is, is what has to be done because me emission reduction is not going to happen. It, 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 it will happen in some small scale, but it won't happen on the scale that, that the, the, the uh, politicians say should happen or say will happen because the human race is just not willing or capable of reducing their their usage of fossil fuels to the level that's needed. If, uh, we, if we quickly come back to uh, the tangibility, of, we're at about hmm. just over one degree warming, something like that, um, which doesn't sound like much, but it's a global average. And if hmm. we if we go up to two, and at, at the moment we're on course for three to four, if we go up to two, we're essentially saying double what we've got now. Uh, is it, are we getting into dangerous territory? Um, well, two was chosen by the IPCC originally. Um, well, actually, it was just a figure pulled out of midair. But there is there is an importance to two because if you look at the productivity of all the major crops uh, that we that we use, the 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 yield of these crops goes down after two degrees of warming. Up to two degrees, sometimes the, the, the yield goes up because of the increased CO2 uh, stimulating growth, but the yield then goes over the top and comes down again. And um, beyond two degrees, there's going to be very serious food losses. And that uh, in a time when the population is increasing rapidly, there'll be a collision between our capability of growing food and the population that wants to eat the food and there's going to be some massive famine going on. But, okay, so that, that's going up to two. But, yeah. I, I mean, I'm just even looking at the, the forest fires we've seen in, in, mm. in the Arctic region, which seems crazy, but in Australia, in the Amazon, and mm. other disasters around the world, in, like I said before, Jakarta, in Africa, and, and beyond, even in the north of England. If we, if we keep having these, and, and in a funny way, these do, everything's interconnected. So these are connected in a way to changes in the Arctic, the way the whole weather system works. Um, hmm. Can we really keep going? I mean, is there a point where we, we sort of, we have to say, uh, yeah, we can't? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, the, the forest fires or the brush fires uh, are, Really, they're, they're, they're not the most important things that are happening as a result of global warming. I mean, there's a lot more concerned with um, extinction of species, changes in, in the ecology of, of oceans and, and land. There's ma massive change going on that's all for the worst, 
but you get something spectacular like a, a huge brush fire and people notice it and so it's its main importance is that it brings home global warming to the public because especially if their house if their town is burnt out they 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 recognize that something's happening whereas yeah. if, without it they wouldn't and the same thing start, has, has started to make the american public aware um from from hurricanes and floods uh unprecedented um magnitudes they they start to think well maybe there's something funny going on here and maybe trump wasn't right in calling it a chinese hoax um so those those kind of disasters will get will get more and more common but the question of so the the, the positive thing about them i suppose if you could call it positive is it draws the the public starts to realize there's a climate emergency that it's the climate emergency doesn't just mean we must reduce our emissions in the next 30 years it means we've got to do something now because all these things are happening um so that's that's its positive aspect i suppose uh,